Welcome back everyone to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, German Mokolova, or Herr Mokolova. Right now, with the foundation of the Fry Conservative Party. Negotiations for a North German constitution have recently started, but not everyone in Prussia is happy with the developments that will most likely result in a compromise to integrate the other states in Northern Germany. The conservatives are estranged over the dispute of preserving a Prussian spirit and progress towards German unity. As a result, the party members that supports our plans for unity have separated themselves from the traditional conservatives. We can bank on the support of the Free Conservative Party or the Fry Conservative Partei for future proposal goals, sehr gut, and which now we must make sure that we do or draft a constitution. It is October 1st, and we're just about done with the Bundespräsidium. So we shall see what happens with, hopefully, some sort of event popping up. Oh, and we got that one done, too. We got a couple of comments to go through the Reichstag. Oh, boy. But we shall do the Bundeskanzler system. We need to introduce the ideas of a chancellor for the Union. This office will play a key role in political framework of the Confederation, which we must have a constitution, my friends. Now, we must do a federal or centralized constitution. I'll probably have to click on this. We have to draft this. Um, the con constitutive Reichstag needs to solve, resolve all eight constitutional issues and produce a constitution draft as quickly as possible or we run into political problems. A continued state of uncertainty would not only hurt our reputation, it might also endanger the stability of a recently formed confederation. When resolving the respective constitutional in issue, always go with the historical option if you want to have the Bismarckish of the awesome. Always go with the non-historical option if you want a liberal constitution. Oh boy. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead. And see what happens in two weeks with the next focus. Pasteurization is now finished. Now we lose 4% more consumer goods, which sucks, but we get more monthly population, which is pretty good. All right, so for this, this is done. Over here, this is done. It's not quite 1870 yet. And let's see. One of the comments, which we should address right now since we already are doing technology, is that we need to be careful about the future. Because some of the technology, we need to have certain technologies unlocked for some of our focuses. So that's actually really good to keep in mind. Obviously, all this stuff is done. The stuff with England is done. This stuff is done, except with the Austrian Empire, which we'll we'll talk about them later on. Strive for tolerance with the French. No, 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 no. Russian colonial ambitions, colonial navy. No, 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 no. Um, wait, we can buy Koba. Negotiates with Kaubu tribe to purchase Koba. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, anything here. Always false. R move anti-union sentiment. Basic human rights of the Constitution adopted. Human rights? In my Germany? What are you talking about? Alright, no, nothing about there for technology. No, no, no. Uh, complete economic unity. So for this one, we're good. For this one, we need at least 45 ships and national spirit subordinate marine ministerium. For this one, we need that... Oh, marine des Norddeutsches Bundes. Kongische Waffen, no. Oh, we can finish army reforms too. That actually be pretty good to have as well. But we can wait. Technology, 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 nope. I just want to make sure that we can go through this together just to see if we need any technology. Honestly, it doesn't look like we need any technology done. German must be unified. This focus unlocks the German focus tree eventually. Hmm. Will we traditional, liberal, or socialist? Oh boy. Deutsche National Bewegung. Um, so it looks like everything here is already pretty much done we might not need any more uh technology so we can pretty much uh, from what it looks like can you continue going down the way we've already gone so bombers enemy air support uh anything for artillery down here no not quite yet army doctrine no not quite yet even though as much as i'd love to do one of those got, got things up there uh i can't quite do it i can't quite do that uh better uniforms more defense who knew that better uniforms could give you better defense i didn't but since we're here, let's go and read the Reichstag. The Reichstag will be the representative body of the people within the North German Confederation. We will have to determine who gets to have a say in its composition and what the government's responsibility should look like. We'll get a vote on stuff. And we've got some things to deal with here, including resistance, because we don't have enough manpower or cavalry equipment to put down resistance, which sucks. But slowly, slowly getting better, which is good. Now, with the stuff on the left here, with support Dreisel Gewehr Fabrik, as well as Kunglische Preußische Gewehr Fabrik. We basically need a total of five military industry here, so... The first one's four, the second one's five. For this one, we're just building up another naval base so we get that naval stuff done. Build up some more civilian industry, and then focus on the military factories right there, which will be okay. And well, this is almost ready to go, too. Nice. Very good. 
federal or centralized? The most important question should be tackled right now at the start. How centralized should the new union be? Well, we certainly... We will certainly have to federalize the Prussian system to accommodate the extending states, but should we allow all states equal say and distribute government authorities fairly, or should we rather try to keep as many powers as possible in Prussian hands? Reasonable? Or through federalism? Uh, I think... I don't exactly understand the whole thing between, like, the normal, you know, our timeline in the United States, not this really Confederate, loose association of Confederate states in the U.S. of A., the Union side, but, uh, like... U.S. federal government is a federal government versus central government. Well, this is historical, and I want to be as historical as possible, despite what the South did earlier, but, hey, we'll, we'll go with the federal option. Constitution issue, Commander-in-Chief. All right, we got two more weeks for that. Not bad. And we want to get 500 political power, even though we only get 0.92 every single day, because we want to... Where is it? Oh, administrative reform of Germany. After winning the war against the Austrians, some new territory is falling under our control. Whether we control it directly or indirectly, we must work on integrating it into our administrative com complex, in which the minor German states in the north who became, you know, joined us, they lose their cores, and we get cores in all those states, which is going to be extremely, extremely important for us. Anything else? Not really, no. Nothing I really care about. So let's okay, construction. I don't know why this is still here. Um, but, you know, it's, I guess it's telling us it's still open, which is, I guess it could be worse. So, that's okay. That's definitely okay. Another comment which says, let's see, someone said, Raising the military's budget doesn't matter for us, really, since we get a special law at the end of the army focus stream. Uh, I pretty much figured that, that we would get that one anyways. The reason why I did it, to just spend more anyways, we're going to spend more eventually anyways, so, I figured, you know what, might as well do it now, because I wanted to have victory in the leg legislative power, or in the, you know, control, the legislature, whatever it is called here, um, I wanted more political stability, that's really the only reason why I did it, because more stability for the nation is probably good. Constitutional issue, Commander-in-Chief, now it's become clear who will be the head of state, we need to specify the constitutional rights of that position. The delegates may concern the role of the commander-in-chief. Should the head of state also be our highest-ranking officer who exercises supreme command and control over the Confederation's armed forces? Or should the delegates be able to appoint a commander-in-chief in times of war? This will likely create friction both with the Prussians and among the general staff, though. I like the historical option. Look at that. We get more war support, we lose some army XP, which is not good, actually. Uh, do we? We did all the decisions already for the army reform, so that's unfortunate. We're just going to lose army XP here. Unless we want to spend some of it first. Can we have negative army XP? Yeah, I got rid of a lot of the other infantry divisions or templates. I would like this. I like I like that soft attack. Just mowing our enemies down would be so much fun, but we can't really afford that right now. Um, cursor divisions, I made you guys in combat with. Gatling companies. Ooh, cannons, howitzers. Do we have enough howitzers for this? No. Mm, that's not bad. Also, we got a lot more equipment, too. That's not bad. And this would give us uh, 20 more soft attack. This would hurt our organization by quite a bit. But the HP is pretty much the same. Supply use goes up quite a bit. We get a little bit more piercing. We get two more breakthrough. We get 18. 18 more defense. And 20 more soft attack. So when these guys hit, I mean, they hit hard. You know, they don't have a lot of institution. But we'll do this one. Yeah. Cool. And we, no, I just wanted to spend that extra little stuff that we had, so... Uh, how are we looking for factories? They're still building it up. It's not going to take that much longer, hopefully. It'll be until when? November 11th. So, oh, in 10 days. That's, that's not too bad. That's really not too bad at all. So, any other decisions here yet? No. Traditions and celebrations. Uh, actually, when we get this one done, which will be in 10 days, we get two more building slots, two more infrastructure, two more naval bases, and Wilhelmshaven becomes gloriously known as Wilhelmshaven. And if we don't complete it, we'll lose political power or support and stability, which is something we don't want. Ministries. And Reichstag. Yes. So it is 67. We have to be ready for... I don't remember how long the Franco-Prussian War was. It wasn't that long. It ended in January of 1871. Bless Prussia's heart. But, hmm. So we got to be ready for that. Uh, once the next technology done, it'll be quite a while, huh? Well, we can go ahead and read the next book. It's the Bundesrat. The Bundesrat is a parliamentary body that represents the member states. Together with the Reichstag, it will form the two chambers of parliament, the legislative authority of the confederation. First, we'll have to decide whether delegates will be paid or not. Oh boy. Finally, we'll take a close look at the union's finances and try to identify whether new taxes are necessary or not. Oh man, when you start a new tax, most of the time, as far as I understand, they never go away. So, you got to think deeply about that one. Tax them or not to tax them? That is the question. 
I like more PP though, more political power or legislative power, whatever they want to call it. Um, national stability is not bad. Ah, oh, ministries. It is certain that the Chancellery will be quite powerful. Should we set up proper ministries that both aid and restrict the powers of said office, or will the Chancellor be the lone minister who can pull all the strings? N number of ministries? A powerful Chancellery, yeah. 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 You gotta give power to at least one of the dudes. Oh, accumulation of offices. That's fine. Draft constitution. We're going through this as fast as we possibly can. So, uh, at least we get more stability at the end of that. That's not too bad. Oh, another division. Don't mind if we do. And there you go. Just don't lose too much. Yeah, actually, after we beat the Aust the you know the Austrian Empire, which is kind of weird. Uh, I guess it is still 67 though. We got a crap ton of guns and uniforms. Like my goodness. Now we're out of artillery or you know howitzers and cavalry equipment. But my gosh, guns are good for the probably the rest of the game. Maybe even uniforms too. Like it's ridiculous. Ridiculous on an extreme level, man. Uh, I I don't mind going out of one. I mean, for real. Like holy cow. That was nuts. 300 political power? You know, I never knew that I would say the day that 300 political power, it's just not enough. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Cool, anything else? we got three days left. Cool. Accumulation of offices. I love it. And... It, as it is certain that the Chancellor will occupy a key role in our government. One way or another, the question of the Prussian Prime Minister arises. Should both offices, Chancellorly, uh, of the Confederation and the Prussian Premiership, be allowed to be held by the same person? This would certainly give the Chancellor even more power, especially in the state's parliamentary chamber. The Chancellor should be also Prussian Prime Minister. Oh, okay, yeah. The Chancellor must not be Prussian Prime Minister. Yeah. Heck Yeah. I'd love to do that one, but we can't yet. Uh, voting rights? People want voting rights? Oh, come on, man. The Bundesrat. Yes, it's only 35 day focus, which is muy bueno. Mm, love it. And I, I want to spend political power, but I just want to core stuff, man. At least Warsport's pretty nice. It's not going down, right? That's good. It's not. Abyssinia. Oh, are they were at war? Oh, wow. 30 divisions for 24. Wow. Oh, Abyssinia's not looking too united. I guess that makes sense, because I guess it's still this. I think this mod tries to be a. Or can be as historically plausible or, you know, normal. But then again, I look over here at the CSA and I'm like, whew, that is a lot of division. But you know what? To some, that makes you feel really, really good. And to others, like, wow, what a mess. <laughs> and you come down here, like, wow, what a mess. And you come over to Africa, but you're like, well, this is expected. And then you come over here and like, eh, it could be worse. But you look at China and you're like, like, just can't handle a few 15 million Wu Chang uh, Chinese rebels. Hong Tai Tiang Gui Fu. But, voting rights. Another primary concern for delegates is an electoral franchise that will be decided or will decide the composition of the Reichstag. The Bundesrat delegates will be elected based on the laws of the individual member states, but for the Reichstag, we might need to find a different solution. Should we keep the individual state laws or reform the election process for the Reichstag to promote true representation and help legitimize the union in the eyes of the public? Universal male suffrage is a way forward. More centrism, less political power, less ideology dr uh, drift defense, less cost, though, for political advisors and trade laws and conscription. With no elections, with limited elections, we lose even more political power. But political advisor cost goes down, worse for goes up, or keep the existing suffrage laws for the Reichstag election as well. Oh, oh man, I really want this one. Universal male suffrage? Man, what type of thinking are you doing with that? But I see what probably Bismarck is pushing for this, so. He's conceding a little bit of uh, stuff there to keep, help placate some people. Universal male suffrage. Man, oh man. I'm not going to talk about politics here, but... Hmm. Hmm. Is this the capital ship? I mean, it has ship armor. Cannons, too. It looks like more like a destroyer. Wow, it's way faster. I'd love to use that one because we can't. Definitely not nearly in this much range. But uh, there you go. And what did I just do? This one? I think it was this one, right? It was not this one, right? Mark one. There you go. Early frigates, which is a capital ship. 
And we're using these though, so oh, there you go. We can't build them. We need more, way more steel. Wow, way, way, way more steel. Um, this is a speech, symbolic, impact on your political stability. You take a careful brooch. I don't care. It's it's pretty irrelevant at this point for this stuff. So, oh, oh. Don't want to forget. Oh, the trade treaties with the Kingdom of Italy. Okay, after January first, eighteen sixty-eight. Happy eighteen sixty-eight, everyone. Um, that cost more. I'll do it anyways. Ministerial responsibility, and which will. Which won't be bad to do right now, anyway, so hopefully. Hopefully. Ah, oh, yes, good. So, welcome to Wilhelmshaven. We're still building up some civilian industry, which is good. But we're almost perfectly starting to build up the military factories as well, which is pretty good. We should get five of these done within 1300 days, so I'm not too worried about that. And for this one, it has to be after 1880, which we're probably not going to get there for quite a while. That yeah, building sabotage, that sucks, guys. There's nothing that we can really do about it though, but how's learning? Aldebert von Preussen? What have you learned so far? How to ship. How to ship. Wait, what is that? Ah, uh, Bundesrat. Nice. Gentlemanly. Enemy retreat chance plus 20%. That sucks. Man, sometimes you can't be a gentleman. Oh, now, holy crap, it's lagging hard. What's going on? Is someone blowing up? Did China explode? China might have exploded. No, China's so pretty normal. Uh, everything's looking here pretty normal, actually. Oh, something's demilitarized, though. The Empire of Dainam. Wow, the Dutch East Indies have done quite a job on them. But, uh, let's see. Verwassung des Nords is Deutsch, Norddeutschen Bundes. Always false. The Constitution of the North German Confederation is one of the most advanced constitutions of its time. It might also be a useful foundation for a future con constitution of United Germany, if it ever comes to this. Now, we can't do this yet. Which kind of sucks. So, we'll get there eventually, once we can get our stuff f done and finished down here, of course. So, oh, we have four days left, and this each will take about a month. So, we should have these all done. So, maybe we can go ahead and do something else. Maybe, maybe finish off army reforms. It's 70-day focus, but we do get more uh, LP out of that, which is not bad. So, um... I guess I'll read this one, too, since we're here. The more detailed reform plans have already been carried out. Let's hope they will prove to be effective on the battlefield. I guess we'll see. we got to be ready for the French. Now, I don't trust the Austrians again, but... Wow. Did we, did we do that much damage to them, or... Wow. I mean, our guys are 40 combat with, but ministerial responsibility. Delegates of the Constitutive, Reichstag argued whether it would be wise to implement ministerial responsibility by which the Chancellor would be accountable for the government's actions. Well, so that is certainly a reasonable proposition. We've decided that whether the Chancellor will have to answer to Parliament or only to the Head of State. Have to answer to Parliament? Answer to the Head of State and nobody else. Ah, uh, you betcha. Oh, gun breakthrough? I love breakthrough. Yes, yes, yes. More breakthrough, please. 1964 uniforms, new technology within 14 years. Pretty cool. Overwhelming political stability. Beautiful, my friends. Pay and perks? Oh, you betcha. You chet, you betcha. Oh, God, I want to do that so badly. Only 0.56 a day. Are you kidding me? Ah. God, that sucks. That really sucks. He needs more roads, though. And farms are kind of nice because you get plus 5 weekly manpower. And they make a lot of babies on farms, don't they? Uh, how is our trade doing? What do we... Oh, we need more steel, as we saw earlier. But anything else that's really in demand? Uh, it's mostly steel for ships, which we don't really have to focus on, I guess, anymore. Like, with a extreme fervor. So, yeah, we've got about a week left for that. That's not too bad. Zoom in to make the game run a little bit more smoothly. Anti-union sentiment. Oh, it's minus 20% stability. Some parts integrated in the North German Confederation are unhappy with the Prussian rulership and are causing trouble. On the other hand, some of the Prussian older elites are still struggling to accept the reality of change. Oh, crud. Both sides don't look at General Staub. We have the detrimental colonial impact. Co detrimental colonial impact. More like we're saving them from themselves. But pays Burke, the shall we? Some members of the Constitutive Reichstag argue that we should pay, uh, offer pay and perks to the elected delegates. We also certainly reimburse them for their efforts, and we also risk creating a growing flock of career politicians that will cost the Union a significant sum of money. Additionally, potentially under, uh, under-desired or undesired subjects like representatives of the workers' movement could more, more easily afford to occupy a seat in Parliament. There will be no pay for, and perks for delegates. It's only fair to pay the delegates. They don't need pay. Which means only probably more wealthy people can be able to do that. Budgets and taxes, shall we? 
Kalna Carnival. And how's this looking? Are we done yet with one of these? Oh, oh, one of those guys went away. Oh, that's, that sucks. Dynamite. Dynamite. Oh, I love dynamite. Things go boom. Yay. Anything else here? No, we're pretty good for this one. So we're done with that. Biochemistry is done. It looks like as well for now. Process engineering. Oh, boy. We're done with that, too. And mechanical engineering. Well, we got stuff to do. <laughs> Uh, how about even down here? Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time, so we got two more Steam Locomotive 3. We like Steam Locomotives. They're kind of fun little choo-choo, ding-a-ling-a-wing-wing. -wing. Cool. I'm not sure where that came out of, but, uh, 11 days. So after that, we should be able to do this one, right? Bevelsen des Norddeutschen Bundes. Domestic Policy. Enact de Denominational Equality. Enact Freedom of Movement. Denominational Equality. Wh no. What? What? No. Hey, we have 30 million people in our population, though. Strafgesetzbuch? Uh, huh. Trade and commerce. Foreign policy. Establish Auswaltisches Amount. Standardize military service regulations. Reform the Zollverein. Alright. Reapproach Austria. That would be good to do. And prepare for German unification would be also quite good, but budget and taxes. Since individual states will basically continue to operate their internal matters independently, the main bulk of expenses for the Union will be militarily, plus maybe a small upkeep for the central authorities and delegates, should we decide to pay them. Parliament will control and approve the budget, but for how we finance additional expenses? Will the income from tariffs at the external borders and a share of the consumption tax suffice, or will, or will we have to implement Union taxes? New taxes? Oh, that's not bad, but the income from tariffs and consum consumption taxes is enough. Yep, he wants to make sure that the centrists and social egalitarians don't have too much power, so we'll throw them a bone from time to time. And we like political power, don't we? Seems like a politically smart idea. Put the Constitution to a vote. All right. Foreign trade deal accepted by Italy. Thank you. I don't remember. No, I, technically we did do that, so I was hoping that drafting a Constitution would be good, so. All right. Bismarckia. Verfassung. Um, and this is always false until it gets approved. Hopefully it gets approved soon so we can keep pushing al along and ahead. Political stability is pretty nice. It's nice to have a politically stable nation. Probably. Unless you want some real radical change, then you don't want a, a stable nation, I guess. But then again, who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet. Ooh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. So we're done all that. Was it process engineering we to come back to? No. It was maybe mechanical engineering? Yes. Standardized ga gauges? Why not? Being standardized across the nation is probably a good idea. Okay, and they'll be done on March 21st in a week. Not bad. Uh, what are you guys up to? You guys... Are y'all done? Oh, you're repairing. I thought you were done doing something. Like, you ain't done. Not yet. Okay, draft a constitution. So... Oh, some graphical lag. Oh, boy. Oh, well, let's not go over there. Oh, let's not go over there. Okay, there we go. Look at the pretty guys in blue. Pretty guys. Guys aren't pretty. Are they? Hmm. Don't ask me. But I love Prussian blue. Prussian blue is probably one of my favorite blue colors. Oh my goodness, I could go on for hours about how it makes me feel. But anyways, ah, oh, there it goes. Very good. Uh, how about foreign policy? We could use that PP because I want to make sure that we can... Um, core of the North German states. Domestic policy would be pretty good to do as well, though. You still get that stuff. Uh, foreign policy, we need to focus on external politics. We need to focus on internal politics. So it doesn't really matter. Enact denominational equality. Uh, if I have to. <laughs> well, if we have to, you know. If we have to. Wow, we got 8,000 men. God. Okay, hold on. Please stop doing that. Anyone need to train? Anyone need to train? No, we're... Oh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, was it Yugu? Yugu? You guys. They need anything? What if we are scared of the Belgians? Wow, look at that lag. What is going on? I guess it's trying to get to the month of April, but still. We don't trust them Danes. We don't trust the Bavarians. But then again, to get them on our side, we need uh, to be on a defensive war. So, wow. I'm sorry if you can see that. But holy crap, that is really bad. 400 is not enough. Anything else here that we need to be aware of? Still building up military factories. Not bad. Not bad. Disinherit our air? Yeah, no. We're, we're pretty good. We have a pretty strong air, I think, right now, right? Yeah, pretty strong air. As strong as you can get. Non-family here. That does not sound very good. Hmm. Prussian Victorian Army. Well, that's actually pretty nice. Daily command power gain goes down, though. Uh, combined arms. Modernized army. Digital army. Modern warfare. Advanced army. 
Who knows what the future will have except a lot of bombs and death and destruction. Ah, uh, let's see. Industrializing? Yeah. How'd it get here? Describe the stage of industrialization where a great amount of the production of goods happens by machines. Industrial growth and the decreased importance of workers characterizes this stage. By switching your industrialization law, mostly happens by decision, save for a few exceptions. So here, we actually lose uh, PP, but we get more consumer goods, and where you lose more max factories in a state. You get more research speed. Oh, uh, you get 1% more. Wow, this really hurts the construction speed. Lighter designs are nice to have, though. And, oh, look at that. Army? Oh, yes, please. Camouflage. Yeah, camouflage principles. Yeah, that'd be probably pretty good to have. We still only get 8.92 again. Oh, please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. For the love of God, please stop doing that. So how strong is France? I think yesterday we tried to establish how strong the French were. We don't have a lot of divisions down here. Look at those in guard divisions, maybe? 1 to 10 uh, battalions. Met by Napoleon, of course, here. Bonapartists. They don't have a ton of manpower, especially compared to Austria, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, natural resources. They've got, uh, got quite a bit of some stuff. I'd love to just tank them over completely. Up to 74 divisions. We have probably more than that. Stockpile, we can't really tell. 300,000 max in the field. Uh, let's see, not bad. So from my understanding, from the Franco-Prussian War, or even the Austro-Prussian, Deutsche Krieg, you know, the ability to mobilize men and material is incredibly important, as well as having maybe some slight technolo technological advantages. So, uh, yeah, keep building up roads. I might recommend we build up Brandenburg first, so you guys do that. But build up these roads first, just because we can help build these factories even faster then. That'd be pretty good. How fast will it take for us? October 15th. So, May's the fifth month, May. So, that's the tenth month. Man, I can't add in my mind, or my head, can I? Parliamentary elections in 1868, around six hours ago. Polls closed after the first regular pri parliamentary elections in North in the NGC. The results have just come in, and not very surprising. The Parliament's composition will not change drastically, although the Catholics have won a small victory. None good. Oh, no. Not the Catholics. Eh, the Catholics are fine, whatever. Uh, German investors subsidize the cotton farms. Praise the free market. I love cotton farms. Uh, so after this, you know what? Oh, well, we'll have enough to actually core everything here. Trading commerce? Let's do maybe trading commerce. Now, oh, unification of the legal system. We will need a standardized and centralized legal system within the NGC if we want to come closer to unification. Which is good. And let's stop. Administrative reform. Uh, compliance, huh? Oh, a little bit of lag. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Look at that manpower. 110,000. Finally, Germany is united in the north with no problems. And that actually might help speed up the game just a little bit more, because in Vicky 2, I, I never like it, having Prussia and the, the 10,000 different mini-states here. God, the the mod, this never, this almost never happens. Sometimes it does happen, but it, it happens a lot more in the end of a new beginning mod, in which some people have actually told me that they still can't get the mod to work or whatever, so it's very weird. Uh, but it might help speed the things up. So that's like in Vicky 2. Whenever this happens, like, the North German Federation or Confederation forums, it's it speeds up the game just slightly, but it's it's really nice to have. Uh sure Brazil. Sure, we'll join. Very nice. Enact denominational equality, state religion with a secular state. Oh man, I don't know man. I don't know. Um, freedom of movement though. Now par partial economic unity, more production cap growth. Yeah. Politics of the North German Confederation so, I guess probably that happened in real life, probably. You know, enact denominational equality. Obviously, with us over here in Prussia, we should retain our strength, but hey, you never know. And that'll be done soon enough, hopefully. And maybe we'll go through one more focus before we end the episode, uh, just because I need to get to some other stuff first. So, And we'll read about those decisions, too. Bismarcka, Bismarckish... The last thing, some more political power, less consumer goods, less improved relations modifier, less research speed, more maximum command power increase, more pl higher political advisor costs, and better adjusted legitimacy, which is kind of, wow, very good, oh Jesus, I like this. War support. Not bad. Oh, Von Bismarck, and on chancellor And then our stabi national stability is really high, wow. That is beautiful, longer barrel. Just throw a longer barrel on things. Artillery schools? Um, plus zero is... I wouldn't say it's great. <laughs> plus zero doesn't inspire a lot of confidence in me, but hey, you know what? Who am I? 
Ah, steam locomotives. I guess we can grab some more gunboat HP. We got the, we got the naval XP for it. We might as well, right? Rhenish steel. Yeah, we'll do that one eventually. Kuna Carnival. Uh, disinheritance. There's not really much else here. Are we still increasing this a little bit? It's still it's going down. 0 0.36, 0 0.35. It's barely going down, which we can fix that up in just a little bit. We can probably grab another minister as well. I might grab the social egalitarian just to keep our um, stability a little higher. But Vena Vena is extremely good to get too. Yeah, I might grab this guy, August Babel, because even though we get more weekly stability, even though it gives, does give us more daily social egalitarian support, I mean, you get more political power too. You know, that's not too bad. Anything else here? Oh, more ca wait, cavalry recon. That's not bad. What is this? Special forces, early marines. That might be bad. Oh, let's get some more cavalry recon. Hmm. Lancers. Yeah, cavalry recon plus one. Not bad. All right, and we shall end with trade and commerce. We need to regulate and standardize the practices of trade and commerce within the NGC if we want to come closer to unification. All right, and I think that might just be it for us here. Cool, because we have still do this stuff. So, if you enjoyed this shorter episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. I apologize for all the graphical glitches if you can see that. And I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully we will go to war with France and hopefully beat them up. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.